throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. In West Africa, the Yoruba people put faith in an Orisha by the name of Oshun, a deity of rivers, of love and romance, beauty, wealth, abundance, and magical knowledge. Known for her radiant beauty beyond compare, Oshun has dominion over all things that flow. Fresh water, honey, love, money, mother's milk, and more, representing everything that is lush, fertile, and succulent in our world. She is a creator and a healer, with stories depicting her as a protector and savior of humanity. Her followers call upon her for fertility and to cure ailments when modern medicine fails. Oshun's energy can heal and create life, but she also may take it away if she feels that her gifts are not properly appreciated. Though said to be the youngest of the 401 Orishas, Oshun is among the most respected, most ethereal, and yet most relatable. Like many other Orishas in the Yoruba pantheon, Oshun is attested to having numerous human-like character traits. She is depicted as kind, maternal, generous, and merciful, but can also be vain, petty, jealous, and spiteful. One story relates how a group of people who settled by the Oshun River near the city of Ashogbo disrespected her simple requests and were washed away. But another group who came later on respected and honored her. In return, Oshun promised them her protection, guidance, and providence, allowing Ashokbo to flourish. The city would go on to be associated with Oshun and was considered a sacred place of pilgrimage. Oshun is said to have kept her promise to the first people who honored her at the site by tending to modern day pilgrims and healing their infirmities and illnesses, granting fertility, healthy childbirths, and helping people through their challenges in life. She is particularly sympathetic towards the difficulties of change and transition, and is associated with transformation and the struggles associated with change or loss. She may provide comfort to those who are grieving, as well as those attempting to move on and establish a new life. Oshun is one of the wives of Shango, in addition to Oba, the Orisha of Domesticity, Time, and the Oba River, and Oya, the Orisha of Rebirth, Transformation, and the Niger River. In one story, Oshun grows envious of Oba, who had asked her how to make a special meal for Shango. Before preparing the meal, Oshun bound her head in a scarf, covering her ears. She then adds an ear-shaped mushroom to the dish and serves it to the grateful Shango. Oba was tricked into believing Oshun had cut off her ear to make the meal. So Oba cut off her own ears when next the special meal was asked for. Shango was instantly disgusted and rejected the dish, much to Oba's humiliation. From this tale, we see a human side of Oshun ordinarily associated with noble acts, light, and generosity, by showing how even those viewed as perfect can be flawed in their behavior. Oshun appears as a driving force of many stories in Yoruba mythology. At the beginning of creation, after Obatala completed the initial work, Olodumare sent 17 Orishas to Earth to set things in order and bring Obatala's work into completion. Oshun was the only female among them, and the male Orishas shunned her advice on how to make life beautiful, meaningful, and sweet. 
frustrated at their disrespect toward her, Oshun vacated Earth and traveled to the moon, where she lounged and admired herself in the mirror. Oshun did not attempt to sway the male Orishas of her value, or demand reassurance that she was worthy. She knew they would not succeed in their mission without her. Oshun's departure caused the Earth to dry up, leaving it barren and lifeless. No plants or animals or people were able to manifest. The male Orishas were dumbfounded. They failed to connect their unfortunate attempt of creation to the missing Oshun. Confused by their lack of success, they went back and informed Olodumare that they were unable to complete his request. When Olodumare was told that the world was barren, they were forced to humble themselves and admit to ignoring Oshun's guidance. Olodumare told the 16 Orishas that they could not complete their work without her, and so had to humble themselves and beg her forgiveness. Oshun gave the world love, fertility, and beauty, instilling the need for these things in all people, and so creation was completed. However, Oshun had no realm of her own during this time, in contrast to the other Orishas, because she was so young in comparison. Oshun was wandering the world one day when her beauty caught the attention of the smith deity, Ogun, who pursued her. In her escape attempt, she slipped into a river and was whirling away downstream when Yamaya saw and rescued her, giving her the gift of sweet water and rivers as her realm, so she would always have a safe place to call home. Henceforth, Yamaya remained the mother of waters but Oshun presided over fresh water, with her realm being the Oshun River. In another tale, the Orishas had grown dissatisfied with Olodumare as the supreme being, and believed they themselves were more capable of presiding over the world. Eshu brought the supreme being the news that the Orishas would no longer obey, and so Olodumare stopped the rainfall. A great drought took the land. Streams, rivers, lakes were drying up, and the earth began to die. The Orishas recognized they had angered Olodumare and cried out for forgiveness. But Olodumare could not, would not, hear their words. Oshun transformed into a peacock and took flight for Orun, high in the heavens, to bring the news of the Orisha's repentance to Olodumare. The journey was long, however, and she had to pass closely to the sun to reach Orun, which tarnished her feathers and caused her to lose many, burning her. She continued despite her exhaustion until she fell into the arms of Olodumare, at last in the form of a vulture. Olodumare was impressed by her courage, determination, and sacrifice, and so healed her. He released the reins upon the earth, and designated Oshun as the only Orisha always welcome to deliver messages to Orun from that time forward. Although she had participated in the creation of the world, and had also saved it from its destruction, there were stories where she was depicted as destroying life when humans had offended her through their carelessness, their cruelty, or their lack of respect for the divine and the natural world. As the divinity of fresh waters, she can withhold rain to cause drought, or send unending deluges to flood the land and wash away those who have displeased her. Like any mother, she could be very kind and generous, but was not afraid of punishing those who have slighted her. Water is the most powerful natural force on earth, able to give and sustain life, while also able to take it away. The Orisha Oshun is no different. Through her, life was able to take root and grow. Without her, 
not even a group of the most powerful of Orishas could accomplish the task. When Olodumare was inaccessible to the rest of the Pantheon, only Oshun was capable of reaching him. She is gorgeous, if more than a little vain, full of love, but not without moments of envy or spite. Kind, nurturing, benevolent, flirtatious, and mighty, the Yoruba people look to Oshun for guidance, for love and romance, for childbirthing and childrearing, fertility and abundance. It is safe to say Oshun is a powerful force to be reckoned with.